in the name of Allah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh welcome students we are reading the topic animals and their young ones and uh, we discuss it the ugly animals and today we are going to read something more about birds students today we will see for what purpose a bird builds its nest students a bird builds its nest in order to lay eggs generally both the parents build together the nest but the female bird lays eggs in the nest <clears throat> and the baby bird grows inside that egg which is present in the nest students the baby bird which is present in the nest gets its food from the yolk that is present in the egg students it is very important for the egg to be in complete warmth because if it gets the uh, desired amount of warmth then and only the baby bird can grow inside the egg in order to keep the egg warm the father or the mother bird sits to keep them warm and this process is called as incubation due to this warmth the baby bird when it gets fully developed inside the egg it comes out of the egg shell and that process is called as hatching this is how a baby bird develops inside an egg and then grows to become a chick and after that grows into an adult now we will read about insects students insects are also egg laying animals and the babies of in some insects like grasshopper and cockroach they completely look like their parents when they come out of the eggs the only difference that lies between the babies and their parents is that they are the babies are smaller in size than their parents and also they lack wings two differences are there between the baby and the parent that is baby is smaller in size and it lacks wings it is not have wings so these babies are called as nymphs nymphs students for a nymph to grow into an adult it has to shed its skin many times and the process by which an animal that is a nymph sheds its skin in order to become an adult that process is called as molting so molting is the process of shedding of skin by the nymph in order to become an adult that process is called as molting similarly students there are some insects like butterfly and housefly their babies do not look like their parents when they come out of the eggs their growth goes through several stages and it goes through several stages in order to to become an adult and look like an adult and that process is called as metamorphosis for example students <clears throat> you can see on your books the life cycle of house fly look at the eggs these are the eggs of a house fly and after that these eggs develop into this larva 
This larva develops into another structure is called as pupa and after turning into a pupa it gives rise to a complete adult and this process of complete uh, transformation of the larva from the eggs till to the larva till a housefly that is till a complete adult this process is called as metamorphosis that is the process of transformation of larva into an adult through many stages this is called as metamorphosis similarly students you can see about frog there is a life cycle of frog frogs they live in water and also they live on land that is they are amphibians they in water lay hundreds of eggs at a time and the baby that comes out of the egg that is called as tadpole this tadpole it does not resemble to the frogs but instead it resembles with fish and it is also having gills for breathing students in order to look like a fully developed frog a tadpole goes through different stages like you can see these are the eggs of a frog after that it goes through different stages like this this is the tadpole it doesn't resemble with that of a uh, an a complete frog and it has to cross many many stages in order to reach the stage of an adult frog and this process of transformation of larva into an adult going through different stages that is called as metamorphosis students there are some fishes maximum uh, fishes um, uh, they what do they do they lay eggs in water to reproduce and at a time they lay about thousands of eggs you can see and when the baby fish comes out of these eggs the baby fish grows and becomes an adult in a very short period of time this is the difference between the different kinds of animals that is some animals take a very long time to just reach the stage of adulthood while some animals develop into an adult in a very short span of time now students this is the end of the chapter and we will now recapitulate the important points um that we have read in the chapter number first what is reproduction it is a process by which living beings give rise to their young ones number second what is larva it is the caterpillar stage of butterfly and the most important thing that's metamorphosis it is the change of larva into an adult through different stages and also what is molting it is the process of shedding of the skin by a nymph in order to look or in order to become a complete adult